does your child's heart race when they do math do their hands sweat does their brain freeze they are certainly not alone if that happens to your child but ever wondered why that happens this is probably because of math anxiety around 20% of the population across the globe is suffering from math anxiety in my journey with math i personally came across many math phobic students but today they all love mathematics how did they deal with it how did they get over this phobia how did they become better but is this a concern to be worried about to begin with let's dig deeper and first find out the cause of math anxiety people who suffer from math anxiety think that they are not good at math and they will never be because of this they tend to avoid the subject and nobody tries to change their negative mindset towards math just nobody this ends up having an impact on their usage of mathematics and arithmetic in their daily lives as they grow old to pursue a successful career in not just science technology engineering and mathematics but be it any field where there is a quantitative requirement it's important to deal with mathematics when you're young so how can we tackle math anxiety to solve this problem i went into my research mode and came across this book this book taught me a valuable lesson to be good at mathematics one needs to cope with their fear of failure with their fear of making errors or doing wrong calculations if your brain pauses when you fail at something that is a problem we need to solve let's dive into this a little more deeply brain imaging research shows that those who fear math are more likely to engage brain regions related to pain while they're performing any calculations there are a few hypotheses on how anxiety might affect your arithmetic performance the most popular one being that anxiety induced intrusive thinking that diverts you from the math issue itself for the children with high anxiety the parts of the brain that deal with processing and thinking are far less active than for children with low math anxiety those with low math anxiety activate brain regions associated with problem solving here's some good news if math makes you anxious it doesn't mean that you're stupid here are some solutions right in front of you wait a minute before moving forward i would appreciate if you take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell notification to never miss any of my videos issue number 1 not valuing the mistakes most of the times students lose motivation when they make mistakes when they are unable to solve a math problem they doubt their ability if this energy is shifted towards the mistake itself by analyzing it by understanding it by working on it that could make a world of difference solution the trick is to get comfortable with being uncomfortable issue number 2 falling into the trap of peer pressure we humans are born competitive and with competition comes comparison students who don't score well at math develop self doubt about their own talents in math as a result their performance takes a hit every student out there is capable of learning and loving mathematics but at their own pace solution ask for help take your time in understanding the concepts shying away from help will only make things worse issue number 3 an outdated teaching approach how a student is taught significantly affects whether or not they acquire a fear of mathematics when teachers connect the subject to real life examples and make it application based students would love the subject solution make math fun the objective of math learning shouldn't be about getting better grades it's actually to understand the world around you mathematically i know a place where 30000 plus students across the globe have got rid of their math phobia with fun story narrative approach highly engaging math activities proficient teachers who actually care about their students and a unique curriculum that i curated with my own learnings in becoming the world's fastest human calculator i created the curriculum at banzo learning things and applying them in the real life is incredibly fascinating and banzo makes it simple for you if you want to know more about my course and banzo go head on to www.banzo.com you can take a free trial for yourself by clicking on the link provided in the description now 
let's head on to one of the major issues that I feel engraves the fear of math in students right from the very beginning. Issue number four, math is seen as an alien subject. We look at math differently from the rest of our subjects. We are scared of it. This is where we go wrong. Solution, learn math as you're learning a foreign language. You need to practice it every day and your measurement of success should be about how you get incrementally better. What you learn today will be used tomorrow. You can't skip one part and move ahead because mathematics is like a chain. The weakest link fails you. So practice, practice and practice. Not just by solving the math problem on a paper, but also by applying them in the real world. If I'm looking at the cars in the street, I would think about the number of cars passing by. If I take stairs, I'll count the number of steps taken. Basically, even the simplest of the tasks I do makes me relate to numbers. My brain constantly works in that manner, which makes me closer to quantities and numbers. And if you want your child's brain to work like this as well and incline them towards mathematical learning, you need more than just practice. In order to go beyond the limits of cognitive abilities, you need to start seeing the world around you differently. To all my people who think numbers are not their thing, it's time to rethink. I hope this video also helps you empathize with individuals who found math difficult. That's all for today, folks. Share this video with someone who is suffering from math anxiety and tell them they are not alone. I'll see you in another video with some other math related content. Until then, keep learning and keep growing and be a part of the Bhansu revolution.